Welcome to the archives. Please enjoy your stay. Today, I present you a true Reddit Let's Not Meet tale. One day, when I was in elementary school, I think probably third or fourth grade, I was awoken by my mom in a rush. She had overslept, and since she always woke me up in the morning, this meant that I too overslept, and now there was just no way I was going to be ready for school early enough to get to the school bus. If I remember correctly, school started at 8 a.m., and my bus pickup time was 7 a.m., but it was already like 6.40 or something, and I was still in my pajamas and hadn't even had breakfast yet. So, Mom decided that today, we would just tell the bus driver to go on ahead, and she would take me to school, which would give me plenty of time to get ready. So I'm sitting there at the dining room table, eating my breakfast, still in my pajamas, and it's now about 6.50. We hear the bus pull up, about 10 minutes earlier than usual. My mom peeks her head out of the door, into the foggy morning, and waves the bus along. She closes the door and comes back inside, but the bus doesn't pull away. There's a knock at the door, and Mom opens it to find a man in a bus driver uniform. He explains that he's a substitute driver because the regular driver called in sick today. He says he knows he's a few minutes early since he wanted to get an early start on the route since he didn't know it so well. Mom explains to him that she was going to take me to school since we woke up late. He gets visibly upset and says that he can wait a few minutes since he's already running ahead of schedule. My mom insists that no, I won't be ready to go in a few minutes and tells him to go on ahead. He seems angry about this, but turned around and got back in the bus and left. I return to eating my breakfast, and still don't have my school clothes on at this point. But at 7 a.m. sharp, another bus pulls up to my house. Mom thinks this is weird, and goes outside to talk to them. She comes back inside looking terrified, but doesn't really say anything about it, and tells me to finish getting ready for school. At the time, I didn't know what happened but mom would end up telling me a few years later. When she went to the second bus, she found that it was being driven by my regular bus driver, and it was full of all the other kids that were usually on the route. The other bus was empty, by the way. Mom asked the driver about the substitute driver, and about him calling in sick. I never called in sick. There is no substitute driver on my route he says. The driver immediately called dispatch in a panic and told my mom to go inside and call the police, which she did without me knowing, and report this incident. There was absolutely no one doing my driver's route that day. Whoever this was, was most likely a kidnapper who had targeted me. I never heard anything about it again. Not even if someone else had ended up being picked up by this mysterious fake bus driver. But chances are, had I gotten on that bus, I would have never made it to school or back home. And if mom hadn't overslept on that specific day, I would have been on that bus. <laughs>